guys, it's May May. So I am really excited about this project. My friend from church and her husband have adopted a baby girl and they just got her Friday and we're so excited. And she had a shower at church recently and these are all of her cards. Well, for some reason I was inspired to come up with a way for her to keep all of these cards and still have a mini album to put pictures in. So. You guys may have tutorials out there doing this. I don't know. I've never seen one before, but I thought these little images are just so precious and I hate to waste all these cute little cards. So, and look at this one. Oh my goodness. And these actually clip off. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is just take you guys along the ride while I figure out how to do this thing. And so my plan is just to come in, start working, turn the camera on, and then voice over what I do or fast forward through it so you can see what we're doing. But I will take the time to show you the important stuff. So before I get started dissecting these cards, I want to show you some things I think are really important. And I'm going to start with, this is a great example. Um, and I'm not going to hold this where you can read what it says because it's personal to David and Stacy, but I am going to flip it for just a second, okay? So see all that handwriting? Okay, it's a lot of handwriting. And a lot of these cards have a lot of sentiments written filling up the entire card. But see how this one doesn't? So see, that's awesome. So here's what I'm going to do. Cards that have a lot of writing in them, I'm going to scan them onto my computer so that I have that writing and I can use it because I plan to kind of dissect these cards, but I don't want her to lose what was written to her from her friends and I want to have that in the album. So we will incorporate it. So the first thing you need to do is go through your cards and any that have a lot of writing in them, I want you to go ahead and scan them into the computer so you don't lose that. Now one thing I want to show you is, I wish I had a card. Okay, here's a simple one. It just says Felice Baby or Happy Baby um, from, I think that says Carolyn, so no big deal. But what I'm going to do with something like this, matter of fact, let's just do it real quick. Let's dissect one. So these are the things I want you to do as you get started. I can't wait to do this with my own Christmas cards. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. But here's what I'm going to do. First things first, I'm going to take the front cover off of this card. So just going to do that. And I'm left with this beautiful image I can use, right? Okay. Now it leaves me with this. This is where I think this is going to be fun. I'm going to turn this into a tag for inside of the, of the album. You have a couple of options. You can go sideways with this if you'd like, or you can go long ways. I want to go long ways on this one. This is where your trimmer is going to come in handy. I'm going to find a spot on my trimmer where I want to take the edge of the font to. And I'm going to go about right there so I know it's all covered and cut that away and I'm not going to keep these tiny little scraps I'm going to go ahead and toss them and using my same guideline and cut that away and now then I have this now I want it to look like a tag so I like the length at the bottom but I want to change this up a little at the top remember how I've shown you to do tags before where you cut one side and then mimic the other using the piece you cut off that's what we're going to do here we are going to come into this side and pick how I want it to look, which is something like that. I'm okay with that. Then I'm going to take that piece over here, use it as my guide, and cut. You can use a pencil if you want to, you know, trace it and make sure it's exact. My trimmer is terrible. I'm going to trim this piece off it missed. So tired of that trimmer. Okay, there's that. And then you'll just punch a hole here. So now you have this tag. Now, the cool thing is, once you get them all done, you'll bring paper to your station. Say you want to mat the, a bunch of them in, this is just white, which I probably wouldn't do them in white, but let's say I do. Then I'm going to take these, and I'll go ahead and do this one. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. And I'm going to be very adhesive heavy on this album because I want this to last for a long, long time for her. So I've got my adhesive. And then I'm going to put this right to the edge to give me a good mat so that I don't have to do a lot of trimming. Lay that in. My TV is quite loud today. Put that down. And now we're going to trim away. Now what I would do is go ahead and put a bunch on your on your paper, you know, as you're doing this. Use that same technique of finding a spot on your trimmer. My lord. So unhappy. 
I probably should contact Fiskars, huh? Okay, so there's that. Then here, do it slower, see if that'll help. I'm gonna do this the same, so all my little trimmed edges are the same. I felt like that one would be messy. And then I can do it here by just using that edge of my trimmer that I've been using as my guideline. Cutting one corner away, doing the same thing here. But that gives me a good tag. Isn't that cute? And it says, now they have their friend signature on this part. So it's the journaling already done. And then when you flip it over, you can put your pictures. And I would put some more little decorations and we'll get there. But that's what I want you to do first is go through all your cards and any that you can make tags like this out of for your album, go ahead and get that done. By the time you get your album done, think how many tags you'll have ready to go in it. So start with that, I'll do that, and then I'll see you guys back at the next step. All right, another thing I wanna show you, a couple of things actually, is um, some adornments in the book. This one is a card that is made so that it has a double thickness on the front. Can you see that? What I'm gonna do is take my bone folder and try to release the adhesive inside. See how easy that did? like this so I can now remove this piece and have this for decoration and inside of this card again I'm trying not to show you all the the messages look there's another little piece I want to remove that as well and I'm going to do the same thing and see if I can do it without damaging it don't know if that's not damaging it feels kind of damaging so we'll see huh somebody's home we'll see what that turned out like oh yeah we're okay look that's not too bad. So now we have this section to use and we also have the signature section which we're gonna use. So I'll put that into a pile and now look how much of this I have I can use. I can even use this as a mat because I can cover this. So you wanna go ahead and cut these things away and get them ready to go. Then the next thing I wanna show you, this little card has a little adornment on it. Now I love how it looks on here but it wraps all the way through here. So, and it's just on there like this. See how it's just sitting on there? So what I'm gonna do is take things like this and put them um, into the, let me show you what I'm doing. So you'll see, I have this box um, and I have the signature pieces, the cut pieces, and then the tags I'm making and any little adornments that are for the book later. I'm just putting them all in this box so I can work on it as I wanna work on it. So keep those things and look how precious and you'll just wanna cut this away and put this in one side and put your signature part in the other. So do those things with all your adornments, okay? Okay, so I wanna show you this card. This is really cute. This card is um, like a little cutaway card and when you open it, it opens like this. What I did was I opened it and I cut the front away, okay? So that goes in my signature pile. This one is already a pocket and I'm gonna take advantage of that because instead of having to make a, another pocket, I'm just going to come down here to the end with some Tombow, just squirt a little bead in Remember, you do want to use wet glue on your pocket pages because sticky adhesive will also stick to whatever you put inside there. And then when you close it, you've created a closed pocket. Oh, it's got glitter. Oh. But you've created a closed pocket. Let it dry. Put this where you're putting your tags because then when you mount this to the page, you can just find one of the tags that fit in it to go in there. Isn't that a good idea? So that's one way to use them. I want to show you on the same vein. This was the front of a, of a card. It was the front page. And I didn't have to do anything to it because, look, it already had this little pocket from the little Cinderella. So I just cut the front off and I'm going to use that in the book as a pocket. So you'll see that later, I'm sure. Okay, guys, another tip. This is one of those double layered cards. So I went in here and I released the adhesive so it opened up. I cut away the signature portion, okay, and I'm going to put it aside for later. But look at this. Now I have this piece of paper that can be used for something so cute, like if I wanted to use it as a tag or something to mat, we'll just pretend we're gonna use it like it's designer paper. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut away the photo portion, and you wanna try to cut right on the photo line. So you see, now you have like a piece of designer paper we can use for a tag or something, and then you have this for another little pretty element. Now then, let's talk about elements like this. 
Now, if you have this little piece and it didn't go with the stork, you could always take it off and use it for something else. But I really like it on this piece of paper. We can put a pocket on here or anything. I'm going to go ahead and release this adhesive because it is one of those double pages again. This one's not really, it's too big to make it into a pocket for what I have in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and release that, open it up. I'm going to cut away the signature. I'm going to lay it this way so we don't have to worry about anybody reading her personal information. Cut away that signature. Put that into my signature stack. And then it leaves me with a cute little saying that would make a precious tag. And it also leaves me with that page with the little three-dimensional um, pop-up I can use. So I'm going to cut this down. See if that got all the way through. It didn't feel like it did. Okay. So now I have this little piece and I could round the rest of the corners and use it any way I want to. And then I have this little piece where I can make a tag or use it as the back of another um, piece as a tag. So I just want to show you how I'm kind of breaking them down. This one is simple. It is just flat. A lot of writing on this one. I don't know how I'm going to use this one yet, but we'll put that one aside for now. Okay, so this one's already a tag. This, you can just mount it and make a tag. We'll do that in a little bit. And I'm going to leave that because I think this will be sweet for her to remember. So, isn't that cute? Okay, put that one in your tag pile. Okay, guys, so I have now dissected all of the cards and I have either made tags out of them or made them for another purpose. So I want to show you what I did, okay? So, do you remember the one that had the little um, booties on it and the little clips, <laughs> the little clothes pins? I thought this was really cute. I had this card that had kind of an area that wasn't usable here. So I just cut around it and then I made it a place to put these. And this is glued down and you can actually take these off. Aren't they super cute? I think they're so cared on there. So, this is from a friend, somebody giving them that. And so... This is the inside of the card where I cut it away and then I just made a photo mat out of it. So I can decorate the back more once we get to that point, but I tried to take every card that I cut away and make something out of it. Here's another little photo mat. This is the inside and then we've got it ready for photos. This one was perfect for a tag, so I turned that into a tag with the backside blank for now. This one, look, it's another little photo mat. Then this one. Another photo mat. I'm going to run through them kind of quick with the photo mats because you can see that's what I did. I just took the inside where people had written things and just photo matted. Turned them into all different size photo mats. Look at this one. What a cute tag. I loved this bottom part. So I thought that had to be a tag. So there's that. And look how cute are these. So they'll have these forever with all their people, all their friends, little sayings to them. Um, this one I turned into kind of a long photo mat. And let me show you why because this was the card. It was like this, so I opened this up and cut the top away, turned this into a long photo mat, and look, I put a hole here, and this is gonna be a tag all by itself. It was perfect, it's done on both sides, so there's that one. Remember this one I showed you that was perfect for a tag? It says baby, and then I just matted it so I could use it. Here's one with a whole bunch of signatures on it, so she's got that, and can you imagine baby pictures on that side? And then these are two of my favorites. I showed you this was the front of a card and it had this cutout with Cinderella already on it. So I took the inside of the card where it said, Hear ye, hear ye, the cutest little princess in all the land has arrived and made that the slot to go inside. So when I put that in the book, that'll be the automatic tag and she can put a photo here and here. Won't that be cute? Okay, and look at this one. This was a card that I showed you earlier and I just made a tag and slid it down inside there. So now this little tag lives inside of here and she'll be able to put photos on the other side of that tag and I'll have a little pretty pull that comes out of it there. And is that it? Well, I'm still working on this to show the little hair off. It's not dry yet, and I've got to clean where my fingers have been. But I took that card and just kind of dissected it in a hundred different ways to turn it into this little thing where she can put hair in the center. So I'll show you that too. I worked on that on camera. So what's left is all of these goodies to decorate inside the album. Once I decide how I'm doing the album, look, I kind of dissected that one. Um, and so once we get to that point, that'll be video number two. I think I'm going to go ahead and put together the album so I can um, start putting these little pretties together. So anyway, I just wanted to show you where we were. So I've dissected the cards, made what tags I could, and now we'll get on to making the album. So stick around for next Monday. That's what I'll have it for that video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.